Welcome to today's meeting of the Transportation Licensing Commission. Uh, we're meeting via telephone and telephonic uh, conference. Um, and I would like to take a roll call for the members who are present. Uh, Mr. Kerry Rogers. Mr. Rogers. I see that he's on and he doesn't look muted, but let me go on. I'll go, uh, Ms. Mona Lisa Warren. Present. Uh, Mr. McNally. Here. And uh, Mr. Rogers. I, I can see you um, move your mouth, but it didn't, I can't hear you. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, this is Don Trey with IT. You may be muted on your headset, not necessarily WebEx itself. Um, hmm. Mr. Stonis, is, is there a way, again, we can see him, so he, he's being recorded into the meeting, of course. If we have a volume issue, I guess if, if what we could do is we could have him actually call in, just if we can't get his sound on the screen. I think that would probably be fine, Billy. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, but um, I, I mean, as long as we can hear him, I think I think that would be fine. Um, you know, just under the current executive order, we'll have to either be on video or identify ourselves before we speak, um, so that that it's clear to people at home who's talking. Um, but uh, I, I, th I think it's okay if he's. Um, uh, through a, you know, a little bit different um, uh, medium. Why don't we have okay. Mr. Rogers raise his hand that he's here and then have the, uh, uh, have it acknowledged on the record that he uh, raised his hand uh, in response to whether he was present or not and then have him call in so we can get through the roll call. He raised his hand. He's, he's indicated he's present. All right, great. All right, All right. So, let me work on the phone call now. Looks like we've got a, a forum. So before I um, go any further, I'll go ahead and read the notice of appeals process. Pursuant to the provisions of section 2.68.030 of the Metropolitan Code of Laws, notice is hereby given that if you're not satisfied with the decision made by the Metropolitan Transportation Licensing Commission, you may appeal the decision by petitioning for a writ of certiorari with the Davidson County Chancery or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of the entry of the Metropolitan Transportation Licensing Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have been met. Uh, we are going to have uh, a, a telephonic a hearing, uh, excuse me, a public hearing momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and announce that phone number for those who may want to call in for that public hearing. The telephone number is 629-255-1913. Uh, as I stated at the beginning of our meeting today, we're meeting telephonically. Um, the commission must vote on the record that the COVID-19 pandemic requires it to hold a telephonic meeting as per permitted under governor's executive order number 16. Uh, if anyone would like to propose a motion, please raise your hand and I'll call on you. Mr. Chairman? Yes, yes ma'am. We're actually up to Governor's Executive Order 65 at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm out of date. Yes. So in order to meet, we have to say it's necessary under Governor's Executive Order number 65. And I see that Mr. McNally has raised his hand. Mr. McNally? I'd make a motion that in light of the Governor's Executive Order number 65 and the current COVID-19 pandemic, that this uh, 
public meeting of the Transportation Licensing Commission be conducted by video conference and by telephone if necessary. Is there a second? Ms. Warren? I'll second that motion. All right, I'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. McNally? A. Ms. Warren? Aye. And Mr. Rogers, I don't know if you're on the telephone or still by video. Now I can't hear uh, Mr. Fields. I'm sorry, that was my fault. Uh, he has indicated to raise his hand that he's voting aye. Okay, great. Uh, motion passes. Uh, we don't have anyone else who's, who's joined us late, correct? That's correct, sir. All right, so motion passes. All right, um, prior to today's meeting, uh, Mr. Fields circulated the minutes from our November 19th, 2020 meeting. Uh, if anyone would like to propose a motion regarding those minutes, I know he also circulated revised uh, set of minutes as well. So if anyone would like to propose a motion regarding the revised set, I'll call on you. Ms. Warren? Yeah, I make a motion that we approve the revised minutes uh, from the meeting November 19th, 2020. Is, and Mr. McNally? Yes. I'll second that motion. Great, I'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Ms. Warren? Aye. Mr. McNally? Aye. And Mr. Rogers? He raised his hand as, in an affirmative, so we have a motion passes 3-0. Next item on our agenda is a public hearing. Uh, we're having a public hearing this afternoon for the purposes of considering a request to transfer uh, um, or combine an emergency wrecker zone from Brown's wrecker to Dad's wrecker service. Uh, Mr. Fields, would you like to add anything? Uh, anytime there's a change in uh, an emergency record zone, the commission has, is the uh, sole authority over determining who is the operator. In the case of a transfer, as you recall, we announced the transfer at the November meeting, and at the next meeting, it can be taken up for consideration. Both uh, the current operator as well as the proposed operator are present and prepared to discuss uh, the transfer. All right, you give me just a moment. I'm, I want to make sure I've got my agenda right in front of me. All right, Mr. Fields, um, you, you had mentioned you have someone, there's someone from Browns and from Dad's here to speak on this issue? That's correct. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask them. They're both actually together. I'm going to okay. ask them to uh, open their microphone and be prepared to introduce themselves and comment when you're ready. Uh, we are ready, so they may proceed. Thank you. Okay. Well, this is Jim Mitchell with Dad's Towing. Uh, Mr. Brown is here with me, and we have uh, agreed upon the, a sale of his business to Dad's Towing, and we're requesting the board to award the zone to Dad's Towing. And Mr. Brown is here with me. Yes, this is Gary Brown. Uh, me and Billy's been friends for about 55 years or 60 almost. Uh, I, I have discussed this with Billy and me and Jimmy has already come to an agreement and everything. Um, it's been a privilege to service the zone for over 40 years. Uh, it's It's been something and uh, I really appreciate the board letting me service the zone. Uh, it's been a long time, but I lost my wife this year and a son two years ago, 
And uh, I'm just, uh, I've got two girls I, I need to be paying attention to, and I'm ready to retire. I think Jimmy would be the most, the best one to service the zone. He's got the equipment. He's got the facility. We're actually right next door to each other. Uh, I can't see that there would be any problem, and I think he'd do a really good job for you. Any questions, I'd be glad to answer. Um, Are y'all, can y'all hear us? Yes, we can hear you. Mr. McNally has his hand raised. I'm going to go ahead and let him ask the question. Yeah, this is Pat McNally. I have uh, just a couple questions. And Mr. Brown, it sounds like you just answered my first one, which is why you were getting out of the emergency towing. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, uh, there was a statement just made that you do have the equipment and that your zones are right beside each other. Could you give me kind of a rough idea of where this second zone or this new zone that you'll be picking up? And then number two, how can you assure me that you can respond quickly to emergency towing in the additional zone? Well, in the past few weeks, sir, we've been actually helping Mr. Brown. He, uh, due to this certain uh, situations in his business, we've been fulfilling his needs as a backup for him for several weeks. We've had absolutely no problems. Mr. Brown's zone is a good zone. It's a small zone. Uh, we are uh, fully equipped to handle the calls. They border our zone, and basically, uh, on each side of the zone, we actually have people that live in both areas, which our drivers are allowed, our certified drivers are allowed to take their trucks home at night, so in our own 24-hour call, since we are emergency towing, so they are able to respond very quickly. Mr. Mitchell, would you generally describe the zone for uh, Mr. McNally, the boundaries? <laughs> The boundaries border Donaldson zone in O'Hickory, come basically and Gallatin Road toward Browley Parkway on the south side and Rivergate on the north side. And Mr. Mitchell, I have a question um, with regards to, if, assuming you pick up this additional zone, are you, um, adding equipment or adding personnel to, to deal with the greater demands that are going to be put on you as the emergency zone provider? We are purchasing Mr. Brown's equipment from him and we'll continue to operate those. And, you know, we are offering positions to any employees, but they have none of them have applied at this point. Okay. Mr. McNally, another question? Yeah, uh, Mr. Brown and Mr. Mitchell, was there any um, other offers made to purchase uh, or, or to take over that zone? Mr. McNally, I hadn't had anybody, and uh, even a boy that worked for me knew about it, but nobody nobody has uh, even questioned me about it, and they've knew about it, and me and Jimmy's been talking about it, and I, I will help Jimmy if he ever needs any, you know, part-time help or anything. Uh, my my family problem is the main, only main reason, Mr. McNally, that I'm getting out of it. I got to spend some time with my two two girls. I've lost my wife and my son, and I'd like to spend some time with my grandkids. And and uh, I still have my garage over there and stuff. But uh, I think Jimmy would do great servicing it. He's he's right in the middle of my zone too, and uh, he he's got everything that it takes. He, he's been my backup since he's been in business, and he's done a great job. Uh, we've never had any problems, and it's always been smooth. Thank you. And listen, uh, on behalf of the commission, we express our gratitude for your service over the uh, decades, as well as sympathies for the loss of your wife and your son. I, I really appreciate that. It, it comes. She was 61, and it uh, it come as a surprise. It was a heart attack. Six, she's been 61 for a week. Uh, I'm 67, fixed to be 68. And I just feel like I really, 
I, I love my zone, and it's been great over the years. And I really appreciate the board letting me maintain the zone. I would just like to spend some time with my kids. I, that's um, I, that's the only way I'm going to be able to be able to have time to do it. And I think Jimmy would be a great asset to take this zone over. I, I mean, I, all I can say is thank you to the record board. And me and Billy, we go back. I think he meant 60 years instead of 50. <laughs> we, we played Little League Baseball together. But uh, it, 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 it's, it's been great. And uh, I just really want you all to know I've been through all the commissioners over the years. And, and you know, we've got a good board. And I, I, I feel great about what, what we're doing. And I really feel good that Jimmy's getting it because he deserves it. Well, I echo Allie's comments. Thank you so much for your service. And I'm really sorry to hear about your wife and, and your son. You, you definitely have my deep sympathies there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are there any other questions from the commissioners? Mr. Fields, has anyone called in regarding the public hearing? There are no calls, Mr. Chairman. All right. It, it, um, well, gentlemen, would you like to add anything else before I close the public hearing? The, the only thing I would add, you know, some of you that were on the commission a few years ago, we actually, uh, Mr. Mitchell and Operating Dads had an issue with the uh, towing lot or, or the impound lot that he was operating and asked permission to move. His, his current location is out on old uh, Old Hickory Boulevard in Madison, and is actually already in Brown's in the Brown uh, Wrecker Zone. So you actually look out from uh, the back door of uh, Dad's, and you see Brown. So uh, from a proximity standpoint, they already had permission to move there, and uh, basically they're not in the middle of the zone, but they're certainly uh, in a, a they're with they're within uh, they're within the zone uh, to service it. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Fields. At this point in time, we'll close the public hearing so we can deliberate uh, the issue amongst the commissioners uh, regarding the request to combine the, the two record zones uh, that are currently assigned to Brown's record service and, and to move that over to Dad's. Uh, with that, are there any uh, commissioners that would like to make a, a statement or make a motion? Mr. McNally? I had the opportunity to view dad's record service on Interstate 40, dealing with a fairly large uh, uh, tractor trailer rig that had had a problem. And I was very impressed. They, they had the area sealed off. There was actually two police cars behind the uh, tractor trailer directing traffic. And uh, everybody had protective vests on, so they were highly visible. Uh, I just. I just wanted to say today that uh, to Mr. Mitchell that I was very impressed with the people who were out there working that particular particular job. Well, thank you, Mr. Malley. It's, your, it's, it's very nice to hear some good words uh, and someone that appreciates our hard work. Mr. Chairman, we're still trying to uh, get a audio into uh, Commissioner Rogers, we're, we're making a call right now. We're, we're sending him another number right now by email, okay. and hopefully he can dial in on that. But uh, again, I think from a quorum standpoint and a vote standpoint, you can take action uh, as long as we have quorum. All right. Is, is Mr. McNall, uh, excuse me, Mr. Rogers, is he wanting to, to say something in regards to the, the hearing or the vote? He, he does not have anything to add. He said no and shook his head. So he does not have anything to add. We were just trying to, to get him in. I, but. I can see him shaking his head. <laughs> All right, Miss Warren, would you like to add anything? No, I'm good. Thanks to both of them for their service. All right. Well, at this point, I think all we need then is a, um, a proposed motion by, by one of you uh, and a second, and we can decide whether or not to grant the request. Mr. McNally. Well, it would appear that only Ms. Warren and I are able to make a motion or a second. So uh, I'll go ahead and make a motion that uh, we 
a motion to allow dads to absorb Brown's emergency towing zone. And Ms. Warren. I will second that. All right, I'll do a roll call vote. Mr. McNally. I'm in favor, A. And Ms. Warren. Aye. And Mr. Rogers, if you'll raise your hand and in affirmative. All right, and he is. So that's a vote in favor for three to zero. Motion passes. Uh, and thank you again, Mr. Mitchell, um, for um, getting on the Zoom call today. And sir, again, thank. Uh, I'm I'm really sorry to hear about uh, your wife and and your son. But thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. The next item on our agenda is. Um, I think other that concludes our agenda for the day, for the today. Is there any other business, Mr. Fields? No, sir. I have no additional information uh, other than to uh, hope the commission has a wondrous Christmas and their families, uh, considering the COVID and everything that's going on. Do that we just uh, we you know we have a good holiday and be prepared in January because we got work coming. Well, thank you so much for all your hard work, uh, Mr. Fields, and and especially with the uh, the technology. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know um, uh, it's 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 definitely uh, made it even more difficult to uh, to make sure we get the work that we need to get done done. I really appreciate the fact that we're able to meet telephonically and 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 and. Um, and as well as through the um, through video conference, um, that certainly makes it a lot easier uh, in dealing with with the uh, COVID nineteen restrictions. But yes, everyone, please have a happy holiday. And uh, that. And, and Mr. And, and Mr. Chairman, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say this. I appreciate the credit you may have offered, but the credit goes back to Lisa Stillman and Millie. Carmen in the office, as well as uh, Teresa Castellanos and Tara Ladd. They're the ones that do the real work for the commission to to have everything ready for y'all each month. So they're the they're the ones that do the work. I just stand out front and smile for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Mr. Chairman? You're, you're very correct there, Billy. <laughs> Mr. Chairman? Yes. Hi, this is Teresa Castellanos. First of all, I want to say that's not true at all, Billy does a great deal of work. But mainly, I wanted to um, make a comment on your earlier remark about being able to meet um, telephonically. So the current um, governor's executive order 65 that allows us to do that is expiring on December 28th. Um, so um, we, we will have to wait to hear to make sure that the governor decides to extend that and that we'll be able to hold a January meeting this way as well. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Teresa. All right, well, with that, we will adjourn. Everyone have a happy holiday, and I will see you guys in January. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> this has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.gov.